Hi, uh, my name's Graham Timms. I'm the course leader for the sport and fitness courses here at Redcar and Cleveland College. Uh, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the courses and what you'll expect uh, in September when you come. But firstly, uh, I'd like to introduce my principal who's going to give you a welcome message um, to the college um, about what's going to happen in September. Thank you. My name is Jason Faulkner. I'm the principal here at the college. It is a bit strange um, in terms of welcoming you through through the video and through online. Normally we'd have you in the college getting a feel of the building and getting to meet your tutors in person as part of our welcome day. But today hopefully we will still meet your needs in ensuring we provide you with the information you need and the knowledge to ensure you start in September with us in a seamless way. You will have uh, received information regarding our seven day free bus pass uh, and that is seven days. That ability to get around uh, Red Crown East Cleveland and the Tees Valley on an evening and a weekend during term time is a fantastic opportunity for you to really get out of, of where you live and free uh, to you to use that. When you join us in September, um, the college will look slightly different. Uh, depends on what happens with the current social distancing rules. The college has been adapted for the current guidelines on social distancing to ensure you're safe as we all can be in these um, these difficult times. It is important you take responsibility when you enter the building that you follow social distance and wash your hands regularly uh, and just you know make sure all of us are safe by following the rules that are set out and obviously as we get nearer to September um, the rules may have changed and we'll, we'll change with them to, to accommodate you at the college. Today, like I said, is about you getting to know uh, your tutor. It's about getting to ask questions. It's about getting to understand you know, what the course will entail when you come to join us. So it is important you take time to ask them questions, get to know the tutor and really find out what you need for when you come to college. Today, there will also be videos from student services where you will find about the enrichment opportunities, you will find out about the student bursary, any finances that are available to you, such as free school meals. And please, please take up them opportunities. You know, the, the money is there to support you as students at our college. You know, if you don't access that money, when we don't need, know you need that money. And what we have seen through these difficult times is that people, sometimes people really struggle, um, you know, when they haven't got that, that finances available. So please, you know, with the student bursary, to help you support you with kit and equipment, free school meals, the seven day bus pass, that's all there for you. And we're here to support you to have the best experience you can at the college. The college is about giving you life chances. It's about enabling you to take that next step. You know, you've finished GCSEs, no matter what your results, you know, because they'll come in August and they'll be what they'll be. What I can guarantee you now is that we'll be a big place for you at the college. If you don't quite get them grades, then it mean, may mean you don't go straight on to level three. It may mean you're going at level two, but I can guarantee there's a place for you at the college. Obviously, we expect high standards at the college, so it is important that when you arrive at the college, you are punctual, you are appropriately dressed for your lessons, you wear the appropriate PPE, and you follow the college rules because it's important we're preparing you for work. And without them basic discipline standards, you won't succeed at work. So please use college as that environment where you can develop your knowledge, your skills, and your behaviors ready for the workplace, because that's what will set you apart from your peers when you start on that journey to employment. Or under higher education, or you want to fight for that place for another apprenticeship. Rector and Cleveland College is here to support you. But a lot of what you do a lot of what your achievements will be will be simply down to your hard work your commitment and motivation and i can say that from my personal experience you succeed in life by hard work commitment and dedication so please take time today to speak to the tutors ask questions whether that be regarding the technical part of your qualification or your course whether that be to do with free meals bursary allowances please Ask them questions. What I would close by saying is study safe, study local, and study at Red Crown Cleveland College. Thank you.
OK, so what I'd like to talk to you a little bit about today is um, about the qualifications. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about some of the units that we're going to be doing in them qualifications. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about uniform, um, what trips we're likely to go on over the next nine months, um, bursaries and our football academy and the facilities that we have here at Redcar. Um, so the courses that we're offering in September, we're looking at a level one um, sport and public service course, which is an introduction to sport and public services. There's a mixture of units in there that allow you to differentiate and decide which pathway you'd like to take. Um, there is some sport and fitness units and also some teamwork and leadership units. So what we're aiming for is for you to progress onto a level two pathway in your chosen field, whether it be sport or public services. Um, we also run a level two, which is a diploma in sports studies. Um, but that is a qualification that is an introduction into sports coaching itself. Um, it has units that introduce you to anatomy and physiology. So a little bit about bones and joints. There's a little bit about sports coaching, which teaches you about how to plan and deliver sessions, how to evaluate sessions, how to set them up. We try to improve your participation in sport. So we look at how you can improve your own sporting skills in a variety of different sports. We look at developing your own fitness levels and try to improve your knowledge and fitness um, in our gym, which we have, a, like I said, a purpose built, really state of the art facility, which you will get regular use of um, at the college. Uh, we also look at trying to look, improve your nutritional knowledge. So we look at your eating habits and how you can um, basically improve your diet, linking that around exercise. And then we also look at start to working towards a career, what sort of career pathway you'd be interested in doing. Um, whether it be progression onto the level three or going into education, further education or apprenticeships or into possibly um, a job. Um, our level threes, we have two level three pathways. One is coaching, one is personal training. Our level three um, for coaching, we will start to look at units that start to progress from the level two onto the level three with, with, with regards to the academic aspect. So we look at more theories as well as applying uh, the theoretical aspect. We look at the practical side as well. Um, so within the level three um, coaching qualification, we look at again sports coaching, but we look at it a little bit deeper. We start to look at nutrition again. We look at that a little bit deeper. But when we start to focus a bit more on fitness testing and fitness training, so we look at how we can test athletes and clients with regards to lab and field tests, and then we'd set in programs accordingly based on the results that came out of that. Um, our level three personal training qualification um, focuses on primarily the gym in the first semester. So up to Christmas, we look at the fitness instructing side. We look at stuff in the gym. We look at how you can work the CV equipment, how we can work resistance machines, looking at free weight exercises, body weight exercises, warming up and cooling down correctly. Um, that takes you up to Christmas and then after Christmas we start to focus more on the personal training side of it, which looks at more um, long term programs. So you start to work with clients over maybe an eight and 12 week program. You start to look at more advanced training methods. We start to talk about things like fartlek training and interval training and pyramid training. And then we start to look at more in depth into nutrition. And then by the end of the first year, you will be qualified as a fitness instructor and a personal trainer um, with the knowledge to be able to progress on to the second year, which would start to incorporate more strings to your bow, like exercise referral and pre and post natal and um, fit field and lab testing. Um, OK, so those are the pretty much the, the courses that we run here at the college. Uh, what I'd like to talk a little bit about now is um, some of the trips that we've got planned. So we have really good links with um, local employers and organisations. So we take you out to a lot of different places. We take you to places like David Lloyd's to look around the gym and have a go in some of the equipment and some of the facilities there. We take you to Lifestyle Fitness. We take you to Everyone Active, to Red Leisure Centre. Um, we're also planning on some trips a little bit further afield. We've got a London trip planned for Easter where we're going to hopefully go to Wembley Stadium and look around Wimbledon um, Tennis Club. We're also looking potentially for a Barcelona trip, which again, we would look at trying to go to the new camp and the Olympic Village in Barcelona. So that would be things that we've got planned. 
uh, over the next year, 18 months. Um, we're also looking at going to like a fitness convention called Body Power in the NEC in Birmingham, which again is a really good networking opportunity and a good opportunity to see the fitness industry and to meet other people and uh, other athletes for, uh, that are obviously uh, taking part in the exhibition itself. Um, so those are really exciting and we try and get trips, at least something running every term so you've got something to look forward to. Um, uniform. We are planning a uniform this year, which would involve like a Nike uniform, which would be logoed up. Um, we, we would expect students to wear like a hoodie and some shorts and a training top. And that would all be um, be able to be bought through the website. And we'll talk about more about that when we come to uh, enrollment. But essentially, you would have a nice, smart um, Nike um, kit that you will be able to wear in and around college. And we like all our students to wear kit when they're doing any sort of practical um, or any sort of aspect of the course. Um, bursary, um, if you are entitled to a bursary, bursary is um, a, a pot of money that allows students to access support with things like kit, food, um, books, travel. So that is based on household income. So if you I think you might be able to be, um, a, that would be applicable to you, then obviously you can contact us and let us know straight away. We can try to get the wheels in motion for that straight away. So if you are entitled to it, get it because obviously it's a pot of money that will help you with your studies. Um, and then lastly, we've got a football academy, which some of you may be aware of already, but we have a football academy that is run by two UEFA B coaches, Mark Proctor and Andy Dorshell. Um, and what they're doing is, is they're running an inclusive football academy which allows anybody of any ability to take part in the academy. There will be training sessions set throughout the week with games on Wednesday in a competitive league. Um, basically, it works around your timetable. And the focus really is to try and improve confidence um, and improve your skills as a footballer, regardless of your level. So that is an opportunity for anyone coming on board to actually take part in that as long as it fits around your timetable. But all our sports students will be able to access that because we've written timetables around the academy. Um, OK, so what I'd like to do now is to pass you on to our student services department who are going to talk to you a little bit about what services they provide. Hi, I'm Tom from the Tutor and Enrichment team and the student services team. We want to make sure you have a great experience while you study at Redco and Cleveland College. We arrange loads of events and sessions which help you gain additional skills and have fun whilst doing it. These sessions allow you to make informed choices about your lifestyle, making sure your mind and body stay healthy and safe. We love putting on events like Freshers' Fair, a great opportunity for you to have fun at the start of a year. Respect Festival, where you can learn about others, their lifestyle and differences. And the Progression Fair, which gives you the opportunity to plan your future, talk to universities and employers. We love students getting involved, so when you start in September, please come along to Student Services and say hi. Hi, my name's Lorraine Preston and I work for Student Bursary as part of the Student Services team. We understand that coming to college can be very costly, but we want to be able to offer you the financial help and support that you need to help you just concentrate on your studies. We're encouraging everybody to complete an online bursary application form, as we offer help with free bus travel to and from college, a weekly bursary for our 16 to 18 year old students, help with childcare costs and meals while you attend college, but also discounts on course kits and equipment. Did you also know that the college has free Wi-Fi, free print credits, free online resources and free access to IT equipment? Don't forget to complete your online bursary form before September. Look out for our online videos which help and support you and we look forward to seeing you soon. Hi, I'm Alice, part of the careers team within Student Services at Red Car and Cleveland College and I'm here to give you some information on how you can make some informed choices about your future goals. You may already know what you want to do and just need some help and encouragement in planning how to get there or you're starting to think about your next steps and I can help you prepare for your future goals. I can explore lots of options with you to help you make the best decisions about moving on to more college courses or on to university. I can also help with job search skills such as where the jobs are, what jobs are available and what you can earn. Hi, I'm Jenny. I'm the welfare officer in the student services team. I'm part of a specialist team here to help you to stay safe and well whilst you're studying at college. 
Ricker College is committed to safeguarding and promoting your wellbeing so that you can focus on your studies. The team and I can refer you to specialist external services so that they can provide you with the support and advice that you may need. You can pop into the welfare team at any point. We also work closely with the tutors and they can bring you along if they feel you need our help. Thanks now, bye. Hi, I'm Helen Marnie. I'm a welfare officer in the student services team. I'm part of a specialist team here to help you to stay safe and well while you're studying at college. You can pop and see the welfare team at any point and we also work with all the tutors in college and they can bring you along if they know you need our help. Hi, I'm Tracy Williams, Safeguarding Officer in the Student Services Team. I'm part of a specialist team here to support you to stay safe and well while studying in college. Redcar is committed to safeguarding you and to promote your well-being to allow you to focus on your studies. The team and I can refer you to specialist external services who can give you the advice and support you may need. Okay, so as you can see, we do have a really good uh, student services team at the college that can support you in all your necessary needs that you'll have throughout your college life here. Um, but it is really important if you can um, or you are entitled to your um, bursary, then you can basically apply for that through that link on the side. Um, question box okay what I'd like to do now is pass you over to our schools team and they'll tell you a little bit more about um, some information about enrollment in September okay hi everyone it's Alice here from the skills team over at Red Car and Cleveland College I hope you're all well uh, I just wanted to jump on and give a little update about enrollment today obviously the past few months have been really strange for you they've been really strange for all of us too but we do want you to know that you have got your place here at Red Car and Cleveland College no matter what your results are you are fully supported by all of our teams and um, with enrollment we are still working out the ins and outs and everything like that but you will receive a letter and it will have details on of the dates that you need to enrol as well as how enrolment will take place it'll be really clear and it'll be really easy to follow to make the process as smooth as possible um, if you do have any questions about your course anything to do with the course information or um it might be other things that we're trying to do for you on campus, like your bus pass or your bursary. You can get in contact with our team at info at cleveland.ac.uk. As well as that, you can always contact us on our social media pages. Now, our social media pages are a really good way to keep up to date with everything that's going on in college on our end, as well as what you can look forward to when you start with us. Um, so if you search on any of your social media platforms at Red Car College, you'll find us on there. On every Tuesday, our team jumps onto the Instagram for a takeover as well and answers all of your burning questions so you can get a direct reply from us then too. Um, I hope you have a really nice summer. Enjoy your break and get ready for some hard work in, from September um, and take care. We'll hope to see you soon. Thank you. Right, OK, well, I think that's covered most of what we've intended to do today. Um, there is a few questions uh, or a question that's come through that I'll answer. So if anybody has any other questions that they want to ask, this is a really good time to do that and I can try and answer them for you. Uh, one of the questions that come through is, do we have a volleyball academy? Um, currently, um, unfortunately, we don't, but it is something that we are looking forward to to do in the future we are just a very small department at the moment that's looking to grow and expand our football academy started last year um, and has really developed really well so the numbers on that have been really good we are looking potentially towards volleyball and basketball and netball as possible academies that will hopefully flourish in the future but what we need is students and we need students that are interested in volleyball basketball and netball to come to our college and then we can start to build from there so the answer to do we have a volleyball academy? No, but we would like to and we are wanting students to come and help us develop those um, in the future. Um, so hopefully um, that is something that maybe a year or two from now we may well have a very well established academy. Um, OK. Another question has come through. Do you get free bus travel to college? Um, Yes, you do. You do. OK, so that's that's an important part. 
um, with regards to travelling, obviously, so it reduces your cost when it comes to and from college. Um, do you have a rugby league team? Oof. Unfortunately, we don't, no. Um, we, we used to have a rugby union team, which again is dependent on demand. If we have enough students that come across and want to play, we have got really good links with Red Car Rugby Club. So they have said that any students that if we haven't got enough players to make a team, we will can, can actually push them towards Red Car Rugby Club and they can start playing there. So there is an opportunity to be able to do that. Um, do we have a gym at the college? We do. We have a really good gym. We have a fully equipped techno gym. Um, we also have a functional room on, attached to the side of it where you can do things like kettlebells and suspension training and you can do things with uh, medicine balls and power bags and bungee cords. And we also have a really good outdoor space as well where we've got tyres, we've got um, an assault course, we've got a big space where we can do outdoor boot camps because that's one of the units that we do in our personal training qualification. Um, do we have any more questions? OK. OK, the only quite last question that I've got is about the Football Academy itself. Um, the Football Academy is something that we like said so we started last year with Mark Proctor Academy. Um, he and his colleague Andy Dorchell are running that. At the moment, we're looking at about six hours a week is the plan for that. It will be three hours on a, I think we're looking at a Monday morning and then three hours on a Wednesday afternoon. Um, it's all free. Um, it's sometimes it's done inside in the sports hall. Sometimes it'll be done outside. Um, we do play games against a lot of other of the other colleges as well. So there is a competitive league um, and the experience that we've um, or had or taken from students that have been involved in it said that their football ability has improved massively, their confidence has improved massively um, and generally they feel it's been a really, really um, beneficial experience just being involved in the, in the academy. Um, so that has been a really positive experience for the students that have been involved in that, um, particularly last year. Right, okay. OK, the courses, someone's just asked how long do the courses last? Um, the level one and level two courses would start in September and they would finish in June. So they're nine months. Um, the level three courses are, are generally two years. So you would still do September to June, but then you would do a second year. If you want to go to university and you want to um, improve your UCAS points, then the extended diploma, the two year course would get you the most amount of UCAS points. So if you want to go to be a physiotherapist or a sports therapist or a nutritionist or strength and conditioning coach, PE teacher, anything along them lines, you really need to be doing the two year course because that will improve your UCAS points total to get you to um, the university route. The level three courses, we've just been asked what grades you need for the level three courses. Um, we like at least three grade fours, specifically in English and maths, possibly science or PE, um, but generally English and maths. So grade fours, three or more would be beneficial, um, but if you haven't got three or more, then you can still apply and we can see where we're at. But generally English and maths are the key we want it for level three at a grade four or above. But we still have, obviously, if you haven't got all those grades, you can still get onto your level two. It just means it would take you a year longer as opposed to you can still go on to the level three the next year. Uh, it just means that you'd have to do your English or maths at college. What, what do you do on the sports coaching course? OK, I've just been asked, what do you do on the sports coaching course? Um, predominantly, it is a practical course so we do look at the actual coaching techniques so we look at how you would organize a session how you deliver a session different drills different techniques 
how you would work with different groups, whether it be a young um, sort of like primary school group or a secondary school group, um, looking at working with bigger group sizes, maybe 20, 30, working with smaller group sizes. But we also start to look at the theories behind coaching as well. So we look at different theories with regards to how you would work with different groups. Um, and also we start to look at different environments. So maybe coaching inside, maybe coaching outside, um, maybe coaching in an environment that's unfamiliar to you. So we start to look at coaching um, as a, a skill and um, I suppose essentially as um, a career pathway because there's a lot of different aspects to coach. I hope that covers that question. OK, well, hopefully um, I've given out all the information that you need for anybody that's interested in coming on sport this year. So thank you very much for listening. If you have any more information or require any more information or have any more questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Um, but thank you very much for listening. OK, I'll hopefully see you soon.